Hey everybody, this is Summer and the Fourth. Last time, we defeated Akeem at the cost of not getting Entei. But anyway, life goes on, and there will be other chances to catch Entei. But as for now, we find... Thomas, there's something on the ground. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. We have, as soon as I can get to it, an F disk. Wow. I'm not saying anything. And we have the F disk. And now we'll talk to this guy. He has to say... Ow! That wasn't an experience I'd ever want to have again. Well, no kidding, you got punched right in the gut by that guy. I'm glad you came to my rescue. Thank you. I'm Vander, an area leader here at Mount Battle. I'm Yuki, and this is Thomas. We're glad to see you. Yuki explained everything that has happened to Vander, which has been quite a bit. 26 ep- er, yeah, 25 episodes worth. Hmm. Well, you told me explained a lot. Thanks to you, I know exactly why they attacked us. This is the Time Flute. I happened to find it while I was on my training trek. It is said the Time Flute will summon Celebi, but just once. There must have been something about Celebi that frightens them. They obviously don't want Celebi to encounter Shadow Pokemon. But let's not spend any more time here. Let's go back. Back at the Mount Battle entrance. But here, I want you to have this. We have the Time Flute. But, are you certain? May we really have something this precious? Of course you may. I'd rather have you use that Time Flute than have those crooks take it by force. Use it, and save the Shadow Pokémon from their sinister plans. That's right. After we obtain this item, which is TM-47. Alright. A Time Flute. Uh, use the Time Flute on a Shadow Pokémon, no matter how unpurified it is. Use it on a Shadow Pokémon, and boom, it will become instantly purified right there. There are only a total of three in the entire game, so use them wisely. So, let's see what that TM-47 was. Go to items. Alright, Steel Wing. Quite a useful move. We're flying Pokemon. And we're gonna move on. So, let's heal our Pokemon, if they're not already healed. Yes, you do. You do have your job to do. So, heal my Pokemon. Alright. And now with the chime, our Pokemon are healed, and now we're off to do whatever. But what is it that we're supposed to do? Well, let's find out. By the way, Happy Tomb seem to be... have been fighting that gang for a long time. You should come here for training, then. It will help you up much, much more. I have to warn you, though. If you come up against me, I won't ease up one bit. I'll be waiting. Alright. Yes, Mount Battle is for training, as I explained whenever I got here. And now you can train whenever you want. You can go as high as you can. But I will warn you, it is not easy. Alright. So, now that we're done at Mount Battle, I wonder where we're supposed to go. I say we go to the Gate Village, and ride our mysterious, one mysterious motorized unicycle there. Oh, Yuki, I heard. There was an enormous, big commotion at Mount Battle. Egan's worried sick about you. Quick, hurry home and re reassure him that you're safe and sound. Alright then. So let's go to Egan. Head up the hill. Head into this giant tree trunk. And I'll re right back in a minute. And we're back. I had to get a refill my drink because, well, I'm thirsty. And so now we're going to go talk to Egan. Let's see what he has to say. Ah, Yuki, and Thomas, the terrorist. It's good to see you're back. So how goes it? Have you trounced the Cretans that raided Mount Battle? Indeed we did. At the cost of Inte. I expected nothing less from my own granddaughter, and of course Thomas. Yeah, she didn't really even do anything. So I see. So Vander conferred the time flute upon you. Then what are you waiting for? Depart to the Relic Forest and summon Celebi at once. I wonder what will happen. I find it quite exciting. Well, I'm not really wanting to do that just yet. But hey. Oh, something I've forgotten. Yes, as soon as you try and move anywhere, it'll say, yes, there's something I've forgotten. Thomas, may I have the number of your PD, uh, thing? I gave my P30A number. Good. I'll try to reach you at this number if anything happens. This makes us pen pals. Ho ho ho. Sure, why not? And now on to the news. 
It's time for the news. According to authorities, there is a criminal syndicate that is seeking world domination. It is thought to be linked to a rush of reports from various regions about vicious Pokemon. We hope to bring you additional info on this story as we learn more. Alright, so now, we are off to find something. But what? I'm not sure. Let's talk to you. Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. Oh, hello. A little while ago, someone built what looks like a laboratory out in the desert. Makes me wonder why anyone would want to be studying out there. I mean, there's nothing out there but sand. A laboratory, you say? Hmm. Well, that sounds suspicious. I wonder what could be there. Let's head out there. As soon as I head down the hill. And then down this hill. Mystery Lab, a sinister and menacing laboratory that was built in the desert without notice. But what's there? Who knows? Let's find out. Uh-oh! We have mail! So let's check out our P-30, eh? Not go to items, go to P-30, eh? And see what we have. Thomas, this is Duking. We have nabbed a pair of goons we think take orders from Mira B. They may be worth squeezing for some intelligence. The police have them in jail, so come to Pyrite in a hurry. Oh, we already read that one. Okay. Well then, let's head over to Pyrite Town then. As we ride our mysterious one as our, we ride our motorized unicycle once again to a town known as Pyrite, or Fool's Gold. So let's head to the police station. Uh, let's talk to you. Hmm, these suspects were arrested and haven't spilled any beans. Not a thing. I reckon they're afraid to pay back from their organization. Oh wait, Thomas, was it? Your P-38 P number, please. And we give them our number. I'll be in touch with you just as soon as I hear anything. Alright then. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, a shiny thing. And it's a jail key. Alright. Suck to you. Ah, it's you. Ah, get away from me. What about you? What do you have to say? They said there'll be some new prisoners, so they split me and folly up. But you know, the guys in the next cell, their voices sound familiar. Let's talk to you. The store is locked. Well, I'm not wanting to open it yet. And this game is lagging, so it's making things go fast. Okay. Huh? You want to check out the lab? <laughs> what could it be? I don't have any clue about what's going on at that lab. I'm pretty sure you're lying. Alright. Let's do what we're supposed to do. We're going to open this door. And we do that with the jail key. Let's talk to you. We were called when we tried to sneak back down to the under. It's just another thing that goes with this, that, and everything else you cause. It's all your fault. Let's talk to you. This is Mutter, elevator going down. There's a key on some sort of a belt. Want to take it? Well, if we're going to be a terrorist, might as well be a thief. So, Thomas the Thief has now taken the elevator key. And now that's what we're going to be known as, Thomas the Thief. Alright. So, now that we have taken an elevator key, let's see what this elevator key does, shall we? Where do we remember an elevator? There must have been an elevator somewhere. Who was a person that kept saying that this elevator is off limits? Hmm, I wonder. Here we are, back in the shady building again. And hey, look! An elevator! But before we go down the elevator, I'm gonna heal my Pokémon, so I'll be right back. After this Pokémon battle again! Oh, frickin' joy. And three Pokémon have taken flight at once. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty cool. And dive bomb Ampharos. Haha, and you are paralyzed. And Oxal uses fly. Against Ampharos, and it's not very effective. 
And you too are paralyzed. Ha ha ha. Well, that ought to be worth showing in the video. Well, just like last time, this guy didn't have any Shadow Pokemon, but however, he did have like a level 40 and 41 Pokemon. Quite powerful. And holy freaking crap. Perhaps we are under leveled. Which means I might have to do some off screen grinding. But anyway, the real reason why I'm here is to heal my Pokemon. So now after that, we're gonna check out and sneak past you. The elevator. The door is locked. But we have our elevator key for using to get down into the basement. So let's see what's in this basement, shall we? Wow, this is quite a basement. So you have to say. Welcome to the under. Oh, wait a second. It's been a long time since anyone has come down here. And the under kind of looks like a shabby place. Or shanty town. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's time for the under time again today. Without further ado, let's bring out our special summon we've all been waiting for. Lady Venus, please. Hi everyone, it's me, your Venus, everyone's Venus, that's me. I have something terribly important to share with you today. It's Horde. There are spies right here in the under, can you imagine? We don't really know all the details, but if you see anyone suspicious, please let us know. Everyone, please, I'm counting on you. We need to get lots of information for us. And that was Lady Venus, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you for watching. Please do tune in again. No way. They know that we've came here already? Thomas, we have to be cautious. Yes, it appears that they know that we're down here. But we don't look suspicious. We're a terrorist and a thief. But they're crooks. But who knows? We might blend in. But anyway, I think that's going to be all for this today's episode. Uh, we managed to figure out what's going on, check out the lab a little bit, head back to Pyrite, get the key to the elevator, and now we're down in the under. So... Without further ado, this has been Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, and this is Summer to do the fourth, saying, see you later. So long, everybody.